Hello everybody, welcome to Higher Plane Games. My name is Simon and this is Samsara, a head melting puzzle block game, uh, which is cute and evil all at the same time. Uh, thanks for the developer for sending me across a copy of this game to take a look at. Uh, I initially requested this game on two points. I love block games, even though I'm terrible at them, puzzle-wise. Uh, and also, one of my favourite films of all time is also called Samsara, uh, by uh, Ron Freaky and Co. So if you like uh, arty visual films, whole, whole, wholly recommend that. This game, however, <clears throat> has about 80 levels of pure brain-melting drama. The world of Samsara is basically a real world of the living and the world of the dead and the line that blurs between the two. And the idea is that you take the blocks that you have and depending on which side Z is on, the underworld or the living world, you have to basically build the blocks to try and get him across to where he needs to go. So for this extremely easy level one, this is just teaching you that you have a reflection as to what happens on one side to the other, but only on the underworld, not on the overworld. And so what you do is you place the blocks down. That then lets Z have the road from one side to the other. Oh, very nice. When you get to your portal, he then continues on. However, things get pretty horrible. Well, not horrible. Things get mind-meltingly complex quite quickly because uh, with this level here and I'm only going to take you through the first couple because the joy this is one of those games where the joy is really in understanding that you got the level right so you start need to mix and match blocks from the underworld and the overworld because and then building things up like that because as you can see obviously it's a mirror reflection so the orientation of blocks change so what wouldn't work here, because every time you try and spin it around, you can't get Z onto anything, then suddenly works if you orientate it that way instead and press the blocks down. And Z can, depending on what side he's on, it will he'll walk on whatever he can get uh, in front of him to get to the end of the level. And I really, really, really like this concept. Um, I think it's tricky fun uh, and does definitely alt give you out like a new perspective of how you look at things which is great uh, I don't think I meant to click on that one never mind um, so portals pop in other little effects come in but uh, the main kind of thing that makes you go ah is that Z is probably one of the most fragile characters ever known to man so if I just set this level off He'll run in run direction until he falls. And if he falls a block's worth, um, he will die. So you can't, for example, uh, in fact, we'll do it. He'll just slide off and hit there. So there's no kind of thing there. Similarly, if you, and this is the whole point of this level, if I remember rightly, Is that we are going to build stuff onto each other. Yes, we are. And actually, here's a good point of how this level works and doesn't work, is that it gives you stuff in, an, in a certain order, and actually you need to use that one there. Uh, but the idea is that Z, whenever he hits a wall, will just turn around and run the other way. So, boink and then slide down to the goal. Makes sense. Uh, as you go through each of the worlds, and there are uh, nine worlds, for, and I think there's nine levels per world, so 81 level-ish type thing, um, the game gets progressively more tricky and harder. Um, there's some lovely little things, like early on you're just chasing a little squirrel before you get to these levels, it's like part of the tutorial, and that's all rather cute. Um, but yeah, you have to really, really sit and think about uh, what and where you need to go to be able to do something. And 
there is a lot of trial and error and the usual block tropes come in uh, as the game goes on but it always keeps things fresh with the really nice aesthetic I really like the lush sound effects that go on here and the whole mirror image um, gameplay mechanic I think feels really really fresh as you go through um, I've not finished this game because my brain hurts but it's going to be something that I will definitely be coming back to to make sure that I finish because um, where it's kind of part of a visual puzzle as well as a mental one um, there's real satisfaction when you get to the end of it and for a puzzle game I think you know that a puzzle game really hits a nail on the head when it does that so I give this game a hearty two thumbs up Thank you very much for watching. There'll be a written review over at higherplanegames.com coming up shortly. And uh, I hope you stick with us here on Higher Plane Games over on YouTube for more gaming shenanigans. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.